Okay, hello everyone. So, my topic is indeed, are entertainment video games effective in brain rehabilitation? Now, I also come from the Department of Psychology. And I wonder if some of you are now wondering, don't psychology and video games have a bit of a bad relationship? I mean, all that aggression? Well, that is true, but what I'm going to do in my research is to find out whether games could have any positive effects for people. Because people still play games. In fact, a recent Finnish gaming parameter estimated that 74% of the Finnish population plays at least some kind of digital games occasionally. And this includes all age groups. Okay, now you're wondering how on earth are you going to find anything positive about video games? Well, what we know from earlier studies is that brain activation in combination with an optimal learning environment leads to changes in cognitive skills or just learning. By cognitive skills, I mean things like attention, memory, language skills and so on. Well, as it happens, games are very good at enhancing brain activation. Uh, they are very good at uh, capturing one's uh, attention, you become really alert when you play games, if they are challenging enough, and so on. Games also have an optimal learning environment, and this is for two reasons. The first one is that games give you instant feedback on your actions. So, for example, if you make an error, your character dies. Um, the other reason is that um, games have a progressive uh, difficulty level. So, as, as, the, as you get along in the game, you have to get better and better, because the game gets harder and harder. And perhaps it's no wonder that some new emerging studies have found that um, people who play a lot, and especially those who play these notorious shooting games, have very good cognitive skills in some areas, such as visual spatial attention, uh, visual attention general, reaction time, and so on. So that got me wondering, could we use these games for something positive? Well, what I'm going to do in my research is to find out... I'm going to devise an intervention where I have people who don't play a lot and basically make them hardcore gamers for around two months. I'm going to measure their cognitive skills uh, before and after the intervention to find out whether games actually cause these effects or whether people who play a lot of these games are just naturally gifted at these skills that the games demand and are just therefore more drawn to them. Um, I'm also going to do the same intervention for people with traumatic brain injuries, so people who have deficits in these skills. And I'm also going to measure their uh, cognitive abilities after and before the intervention to find out if we have any practical implications, if we did find out that games actually could make your thinking better. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for your attention.